Welcome to Just for Laughs All Access. How are you? You're good? Nice. It's nice to be here. Does Montreal have a big beef with Toronto? Yeah. Why? Is it because they say, yeah, I don't understand. I said the last, the last, I thought your savior uh, of Canada was from Toronto. Uh, your Drake. <laughs> your fucking half handsome fucking savior. I, yeah, I thought he was running through here with, with his woes through here. <laughs> you know what sucks about that song? When I first heard it and he was talking about running through the six with his woes, I actually thought it was dope. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, and then I found out woes uh, meant friends. <laughs> Not so fucking cool anymore. <laughs> Why don't you just say friends? Running through the six with my friends. I'm like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought woes, I thought he was like sad. I thought he was like running through the six with his sadness. That's just what he calls his fucking stupid friends. Sorry, I've been smoking weed all day because your city does not give a fuck for some reason. It's amazing. They don't care at all. They like it, they cheer it on. Like I went to hide it and, he, and one of the cops was like, mm -hmm. This place is awesome. We have, uh, I'm in, I live in Brooklyn. We have uh, anti-weed commercials. We have anti-weed, and they're all terrible. They're all really bad, and I know it's cliche to say, but to paint a picture for you, there's a couple of them. One of them uh, is a very famous one. There's a girl, and she's with her friend, and her friend is the couch. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then she goes, uh, my friend's a little different. And I go, yeah, yeah, she's, she's a couch now. <laughs> she didn't smoke weed and turn into a couch. Like, it wasn't... She, it, she cut a hole in the couch and then took all the stuff out and then, like, got in and put her head out. <laughs> Listen, you just have a dumb friend. That's all. I've never taken a hit of a joint and been like, well, <laughs> fucking just slither in there. Um, another, another famous weed commercial we have, there's like a bunch of kids at a basketball court and these thugs go up to this little nerdy kid and they're like, yo man, you wanna smoke weed? Which I've never been intimidated into smoking weed. Nobody's ever yelled at me. Nobody's been like, hey, fuck face. You wanna smoke weed? It's always been like, like that's it. It's as far as it goes. So thugs go up to the little kid and they're like, yo man, you wanna smoke weed? And this little kid goes, I don't smoke weed. I smoke fools like you on the b-ball court. <laughs> I'm just sitting there high like, what a dumb kid, you could do both. I don't understand that. I don't have a problem with anti-weed commercials. There are negative side effects to weed. It's just like, you should just make real ones. Like, use me and my friend. Like, I'd make anti-weed commercials where it's just me and my friend, and I'm on the couch, and my friend's like, yo, Pete. <laughs> yo, Pete. Yo! What? Weed. That's the whole entire commercial. <laughs> Very low budget. Very low budget. And then a follow-up commercial. Me and my buddy are at the mall, I'm, and my friend's like, oh, a croc store. <laughs> and I go, I heard they're mighty comfortable. <laughs> and then we buy crocs. Weed. That's the entire fucking commercial. Really low budget. Really low budget. <laughs> I, uh... Recently got a clean bill of health. My dick's good. Uh, really happy with that. You know that feeling, sir. You clapped right away. <laughs> He's like, oh! Are you like me? Anytime I see a mark on my dick, I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. I always think I got, it's always, and it's always something little. It's always like I jerked off and like didn't wash. And then like, something's gonna happen. You know, like if you fucking eat cheese doodles all day and then fucking play with your balls and then you don't shower, like, 
there's repercussions for that. You can't do that. No, I, uh, I got, I went to, I go to free clinics. Do you have free clinics out here? You have free healthcare. So all of you are fucking, I don't have to wear a condom with anybody. That's what that means, right? No, whore. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> do you, uh, you ever go to a free clinic, man? No? Just uh, hoping the Lord takes care of you. <laughs> yeah. Some guys are like, I just don't want to know. <laughs> what? I, I go to a free clinic, they prick your finger to test you for AIDS, and then they just give you a number. They give you a number, and then you sit down with a bunch of other people that had fun yesterday, and then you fucking, then you wait for them to just call out your number and say yes or no. Like AIDS bingo. Like you just sit there, literally someone will get on the mic and be like, 33? No. 33's like, mm. 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 <laughs> One time I had this guy, he tested clean and he came out of the office and he went, I fucked her in my car with no condom. Nothing! And he ran out. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in my car! You see number 34, like, shaking, freaking out. It's been seven no's in a row. <laughs> Two for a yes. They won't tell you you have AIDS. They'll be like, 34? Come back here, please. <laughs> Hope you like charity. <laughs> oh, nobody got that. That's okay. I don't make any noise when I have sex. It's partly because I'm uncomfortable, uh, but I don't, I'm very quiet. Like you could read the night before Christmas when I have sex. <laughs> it's dead silent. I don't even make noise when I come. When I come, I'm just kind of like. <laughs> I come like a baby registering something for the first time. You ever like show a baby like the sunset for the first time? They're all like. <laughs> what material did you expect? <laughs> Honestly, coming to see at 21, did you think I was gonna have opinions? Like actual things? Really? I don't know anything about politics. I have no idea. And it wouldn't even work here because you don't have what we have in America, which is, I don't know. Yeah, I try to get into politics, but I can't. Every time I turn on CNN, the guy's like, the Senate! I'm like, I can't fucking do this. I, uh, we have a Senate now? I'm gonna hang out with my grandpa a lot. It's weird, my grandpa sleeps over on Tuesdays because he goes to this place called the Knights of Columbus. Uh, I don't know if you have them out here. If you don't know what it is, it's like a, it's like a club for old men uh, where they just go and slowly like die together each week. <laughs> and they have like matching shirts and they go together and they just die together. And he sleeps over uh, when he goes there because he gets trashed with his buddies. And I don't like when he sleeps over because my grandpa sleeps in death position. Like he sleeps like this. And old people don't breathe in their sleep. Like they don't, they don't breathe like us. They breathe like at the last second because their body's like, oh, I'm going to die <laughs> if I don't yell. So it's not even like a breath, it's like a, a yelp. It's weird. Like a normal person sleeps like this. Like a normal person is usually like. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa does this. And it's really hard to jerk off when that's going on downstairs. <laughs>